Hello, fifth graders, and welcome to your English lesson. The title of today's lesson is What Do They Do? Što oni rade? My name is Anita Jepina, and today I will be your teacher. By the end of today's lesson, you will be able to name different jobs. You will show listening comprehension by choosing one of the jobs. Also, you will write sentences about jobs using present simple third person singular. And at the very end of the lesson, you will write a short text about the job of your choice using present simple. I hope you are ready because it is time to begin our today's lesson. To follow the lesson successfully, you will need a notebook. You will also need a pencil and a mobile phone. Take yourself a minute, prepare what you need, and let's start the lesson. First, let's see how many jobs do you already remember. Take your mobile phones, open your web browsers, and type in the link that you see on the screen. The link is bit.ly two jobs two jobs. If you have a QR code scanner, then scan the QR code that is also on the screen. Whatever you do, it will take you directly into the game entitled Jobs. Good luck with accessing the game. Once you enter the game, you will see pictures describing different jobs. You will also see names of the jobs. Your task is to match the pictures and the words to revise vocabulary. Be careful because there are three words you won't need. Once you match all the pictures and the words, press check to see how well did you do the game. Good luck! And now let's think together, zajedno razmislimo. First, let's look at the four words on the screen. An actor, a baker, an engineer, a dancer. A and an are indefinite articles. We always use a and an with jobs. A i N su neodređeni članovi, sa imenima poslova uvijek koristimo neodređene članove. Your task is to think carefully and to conclude. When do we use a and when do we use an? Vaš zadatak je razmisliti i zaključiti kada upotrebljavamo a, a kada upotrebljavamo an. Pažljivo pogledajte četiri riječi na ekranu i pokušajte sami zaključiti kada upotrebljavamo koji neodređeni član. Of course, we use an when the next word starts with a vowel. An upotrebljavamo kada sljedeća riječ započinje samoglasnikom. An actor, an engineer. We use a when the next word starts with a consonant. A upotrebljavamo kada sljedeća riječ započinje suglasnikom. A baker, a dancer. Now it is time to open your notebooks and to copy the four words from the screen. While you are copying the four words, you may pause the video. Leave your notebooks opened because you are going to need them for our next task as well. Who does what? Tko što radi? Listen to the sentences and try to guess the jobs. Write down the word for a job 
that you hear into your notebooks. Let's check the words together. Idemo zajedno provjeriti riječi. A hairdresser, a computer programmer, a firefighter, a teacher, a waiter, a scientist, a nurse. Listen carefully and write down the words in the order you hear them. Every time you have to copy something into your notebook, feel free to pause the video. Number one. It is a person who helps a doctor. It is a person who helps a doctor. Number two. It is a person who cuts other people's hair. It is a person who cuts other people's hair. Number three. It is a person who teaches children at school. It is a person who teaches children at school. Number four. It is a person who puts out fires. It is a person who puts out fires. Number five. It is a person who fixes computers. It is a person who fixes computers. Number six. It is a person who does scientific research. It is a person who does scientific research. Number seven. It is a person who serves food or drinks in a restaurant or a coffee shop. It is a person who serves food or drinks in a restaurant or a coffee shop. Let's check. Number one is a nurse. It is a person who helps the doctor. Number two is a hairdresser. It is a person who cuts other people's hair. Number three is a teacher. It is a person who teaches children at school. Number four is a firefighter. It is a person who puts out fires. Number five is a computer programmer. It is a person who fixes computers. Number six is a scientist. It is a person who does scientific research. And number seven is a waiter. It is a person who serves food or drinks in a restaurant or a coffee shop. Now it's your turn to describe the jobs. Describe the jobs below in a single sentence. Make sure you use S or ES correctly. First, let's look at the jobs. A teacher. What does a teacher do? A cook. What does a cook do? A nurse. What does a nurse do? A baker. What does a baker do? A hairdresser. What does a hairdresser do? Open your notebooks, copy the jobs, and describe every job in one sentence. Don't forget to use S or ES. While you are copying the words and writing down the sentences, you may pause the video. This is your checklist. Your checklist will help you do the task successfully. Let's look at the checklist. What does it say? It says, I have five sentences. I always add S or ES to the verb. I start the sentences with capital letters and end them with full stops. I spell words correctly. Use the checklist while writing to make sure you do everything properly. It's time to dig a bit deeper. 
let's talk about unusual jobs. There are people who are doing the most unusual jobs. Do you know what does a professional snuggler do? A professional snuggler hugs people for money. What about a pet food taster? What does a pet food taster do? Well, a pet food taster tastes pet food. He makes sure that the food we give to our pets is healthy and delicious. What about a bed tester? A bed tester tests beds for companies and hotels. All these jobs are a bit unusual. It's time for you to do a little research. Go online and find two unusual jobs you like. You can see two links on the screen. The first one is Bitly Unusual Jobs. The second one is Bitly Weird Jobs. If you type in the links into your web browsers, they will take you directly to the websites with lists of unusual jobs. Choose two jobs you like the best. Once you choose your jobs, write about 60 words about them. What are the jobs about? Why are they unusual? Describe personal characteristics of a person who is perfect for the job. Let me give you a little hint. Do you see the picture? The picture represents stand in liners. Stand in liners are people who stand in lines for other people and they get paid for a standing in lines. So go ahead, type in the links and see what unusual jobs are there to find. Good luck. Before you start, let's go through some reading and writing tips. When you look for information, only skim through the website. Don't read everything and don't translate every word. Always look for the main idea of a paragraph. You need 40 to 60 words when you start writing. You have to have an introduction. What is an introduction? Describe the job. Why is it unusual? This is going to be your introduction. Then the body of a text. Describe personal characteristics of a person who would be perfect for the job. At the end, you have to write a conclusion. Do you like the job? Why or why not if you don't like it? Now you know how to look for information and how to write. Good luck! Dear fifth graders, I hope you had fun with unusual jobs. At the end of the lesson, you can use this rubric to assess your progress. Compare the text you have written about unusual jobs and the rubric and see how well did you do your writing task? I hope you enjoyed the lesson. I hope you learned something new. See you next time. Goodbye.